All right, so before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I have a $200 Ohio Power Tool gift card that I got from Belts and Boxes. I received this by being the very first member, cr crew member of the channel. But Man Caver Tools just became our very first YouTube member. He, I don't know if you realize it yet, bud, but you are the very first crew member. Um, which means that you get a $200 gift card. So Jay, do you want to bring a $200 Ooh. gift card in here? Yeah, which as a channel owner, I'm going to make you, you. re-gift it to one of your fans. <laughs> oh, we're not getting away with that. And I am proud to say I am the very first one and will always be the very first crew member on the channel, which I'm excited about that and I'm proud for that. To be in the drawing, just leave a comment below. Hashtag belts and boxes. I am gonna announce the winner during the Halloween special, which the Halloween special is gonna be Hilti versus Flex. So this is gonna be a good one. I'm excited about it. We'll see who wins uh, on Halloween. But yeah, but to be in this drawing, just leave it in the comment below. Hashtag belts and boxes. And the winner will be announced during the Halloween special. So today's episode is gonna be XR versus Atomic. All right, we do have the very first Atomic version right here, DCF-809. And we have the new Atomic here, which this is the DCF-850. And this is the XR DCF-887. So let's just take a look at the specs really quick and get to it. All right, very quickly, just so you guys know, I, we will be using a 45 power battery on the XR887 because this one it was the previously most powerful. So we are gonna give the advantage to the, uh, the Atomics by having a five amp hour battery. But let's weigh this really quick, the 87 with a four amp hour battery. Three pounds and 0.7.9 ounces. Let's do the first version of the Atomic with a five amp hour battery. Three pounds and 0.9.2 ounces. And let's do the new Atomic, three pounds and 0.8.1 ounces. Alrighty, so when it comes to the log, we are gonna do one six inch lag each and one eight inch lag each, then we're gonna uh, move on after that. All right, so let's do the old Atomic first. Six inch lag, five amp hour battery, battery is full. All right, so ready, go. I think that's time. Time. Up oh, a little bit more. Time. All right, so next we are going to do the new compact atomic. This is DCF850. Ready? Go. Oh, I think it. Yeah, all right, so the, the new Atomic did fail to drive that in more. See, it's not all the way down. I say uh, uh, three quarters of an inch it has left, but it did fail this time. This is a versus video, just not a test video. All right, so next let's do the 887, four amp hour battery. Like I said, I'll be giving the Atomic the advantage. Full battery is full. All right, so ready, go. I think that's time. And just so you guys know, it is on speed three. Eh, actually, Actually, this one is done because it did go on a little angle, so the head of the lag is, is touching the wood. So as you can see, the new Atomic failed. All right, but let's see if the older Atomic could drive the rest of that one in. Nope. Even that one stops. 
Let's try the 887. All right, so let's take out the older Atomic. Ready, go. Time. So this has got to be some uh, dry, extremely dry wood. Next, let's take out the newer Atomics. Ready, go. Time. Not bad. Not bad for the size difference. All right, then let's take out the 887s. Ready? Go. Time. All right, so next we'll do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We'll use the older Atomic first. It is a quick insert. All right, it's variable trigger only. All right, so ready? Go. All right, we can't use that. It would split. All right, so ready? Go. All right, so next let's do the new Atomic Compact. It is on speed three. Ready, go. Wow. Up, oh, the Atomic did drop its, uh, did drop its speed bore. When it comes to easiness, that's a lot easier to do than a drill with if you do it with an impact. So next, let's do the 887. All right, so ready? Uh, we'll go, ready, go. Now I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. Alrighty, so next we are going to do an 8 inch Timberlock each. Alright, so ready? Go. Wow. That's not good. Time. That's actually not good. This is a completely dense area, so it's a good test. Alright, so next let's do the new Atomic. Ready? This, yeah, this is a, the, the Atomic is a lot better balanced. Ready? Go. Wow. Time. So let's do the 887. Ready? Go. Time. Uh, so you got the old Atomic. Ready? Go. Let's say you got the new Atomic. Ready? Go. Take out the 887. Ready? Go. We have three eight inch legs right here. Old Atomic is first. The battery is at full bar still. Try it right here. All right, ready? Go. Up oh, and that's where it stops. Because if I continue doing that, the bit will the adapter will break. Battery is full. So ready? Go.
All right, the atomic, the new atomic finished that time. See, there is variables in the wood, which is why I have the 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 task in the same area. So I don't like doing it, the task over here for one tool and the same task over here for another tool because the wood density might be different. So I, I have the tasks in the same area. All right, so let's do the 887. Battery is at two bars. That's because it's a four amp hour. This piece of wood is tough. This, this is a tough task. All right, ready? Go. Time. It did it. It did it. Now let's see if the new Atomic could finish the old Atomics. Let's see if it could finish that. Easily. Easily. So yeah, th this Atomic did fail that first, uh, that first lag, but it was able to do it in the second lag. No matter what, I'm just letting you guys know, I don't even know what the test results are until I edit the video, but out of these three, I would still pick the new DeWalt Atomic Compact uh, Impact Driver. This is what I would choose no matter what. This is my new favorite impact driver. My favorite impact driver used to be the, this Makita. This is XDT16, but now this Atomic is my new favorite impact driver. That I, This is my go-to. This Hilti is my favorite hammer drill. And this DeWalt is my favorite impact driver. So, so yeah, good combination right there. All right, so let's take the Atomics out, the old Atomic. Ready? Go. Time. And let's do a final temperature reading on that. These two, it's cold in here, it's not summer anymore, so this is actually gonna stay pretty cold. Uh, 92, 91 degrees, the, the old Atomic got. Oh, let's take out the new Atomics. I love this, I love this impact driver, I do. Ready, go. Wow. Time. Sorry. All right, let's do a final temperature reading on that. 102, it did get hotter. 102, 102 degrees. 102, this atomic got. So let's take out the 887. Ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do a temperature reading on that. 87, 100 degrees. All right, so, but like I, like I said in the previous, in you know, many previous DeWalt videos with this uh, 887, I do love this diffuser that it has on the lights. All right, so if you see, as you see, it's white, and if you turn it, it actually, it's like, it's a diffuser. I do love that feature. This does not have that feature, so if you do this, it's going to stay bright all the way around until it's no longer in sight. But this one, uh, this one flat out has a good diffuser. And at that point, it's no longer uh, blinding you. All right, but you guys have the test results. Whichever, uh, whichever one you decide you like the best, you know, it is what it is. But me personally, I love the new Atomic. I really love this thing. I do recommend this impact driver. And so, yeah, those are the test results, you guys. Please don't hate me for them. I just want to remind you guys, please comment hashtag belts and boxes if you want to be entered into this raffle. And so, yeah, my wife is going to pick out the winner, and we will announce the winner in the Hill T versus Flex Halloween special. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and, and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.